Hi guys, I am here to bring some Christmas cheer to you. So I have my notebook here and I have a few things that I have, but um, a lot of my stuff is also packed away since I'm not teaching this year. But I wanted to share some things with you that your favorite teacher might enjoy. I know that <laughs> there's like this thing, you just wanna automatically give your teacher a mug. And I keep saying your teacher, but your student's teacher, obviously, your child's teacher. Um, and yeah, I don't know what it is about mugs, but we're gonna say no to mugs this year. No more mugs, we're done with those. Um, I have much better ideas for you, so let's get started. You cannot go wrong with pens. You can't, you just can't. So I have actually an overflowing bag full of pens and the ones that I really love are these flare pens and they just, I like the felt tip, but there are some teachers that don't like the felt tip. So there's Inkjoy ones that are just like gel, but they're colorful and any colorful pack of pens, your teacher is gonna love you forever. They're gonna love you. And maybe along with the pens, you can add a little notepad or a pack of sticky notes, something that they can write their notes on because there are tons of things you have to remember as a teacher and you just need reminders everywhere. Okay, the next gift your teacher will love is books. Books, books, books. So depending on the grade level your student is in, um, I taught kindergarten, so this was one of the books on my scholastic wish list. So my school was really cool, and I don't know if all schools are like this because I've only ever taught at one school. Twice a year, um, around Christmas was the first one. We would set a little scholastic wish list because our library would do the scholastic book fair. And we would have this big night, literacy night, where the kids would come and we would do different activities, different crafts, different snacks. The parents could stop on by in the library. The grandparents can go in there with their students. And if they saw your wish list, they would buy you something from your box. So that's how I ended up with quite a few of the books that I have. If your school does not do book fair or anything of that sort, then you are safe if you just ask your child or your student what they love. So their favorite book, something that they would really love to read or have read to them, and then they can pick it out and give it to their teacher. And then it was always really fun. When I would receive books, we would read it as a group and we were always so excited because it was our friend's favorite book or it was our friend's book and it was a gift to us as a classroom. So it was just a really special gift to receive every Christmas. Okay, number three, I don't have my slippers with me or my fuzzy socks, but at the end of the day, our feet are throbbing. <laughs> our feet are so tired at the end of the day. We are standing up all day long, walking back and forth, making copies, trying to get things set up, trying to get things cleaned up, and your feet just, it, it kills them, it really does. Maybe they can treat themselves to a pedicure, but <laughs> something you can do is give them slippers or socks, and I loved these gifts because, first of all, cozy. That's just so cozy. It's so nice to just have something like that, but I would leave them at school, so at the end of the day, I would come, I'd take off my shoes, and I'd put on my slippers, and whatever meetings I had to go to, whatever copies I had to make, it just felt so nice walking on something soft and cushiony and fluffy. And yeah, I'm just telling you, slippers are a great gift. So I have these that I think would be so cute, and they're from Amazon, and I really want these. They're on my wish list too. So if I get these, like I'm hoping I get, um, that I will definitely be using these next year when I start teaching again. And then along with those comfy, cozy slippers or socks, you are gonna want some snacks, right? It's like so much mental energy and physical energy just gets used all, like it's all used up at the end of the day. You are so exhausted, like beyond tired, and it was just so nice to have a little snack, but sometimes I would forget to pack myself a snack so it was really nice if a student brought me a snack and i don't know about your school's 
um, codes or anything like that, but my school, we didn't really accept anything that was homemade. Everything that was brought to me was packaged. Um, it would be like a bag of chips or a bottle of water or um, something along those lines. At the beginning of the year, some parents would ask what my favorite snacks were. So that might be something you wanna do maybe before you uh, plan on getting your teacher a gift, send a little note with your student and ask them what their favorite snacks might be. I always wrote down something like popcorn or uh, sour gummy worms and water or unsweet tea is my favorite. I know, so weird. Sour gummy worms, unsweet tea, I don't know. But anyway, snacks are a go. Keeping with the cozy theme, when you come home, it is so nice to spend a weekend at home in the tub, <laughs> relaxing, soaking, you know, trying to regain your energy. So I really loved when my students would bring me little bath things. I would receive some bath bombs every now and then. And it was always so fun to just like smell them with, with them watching. Cause of course, when they give you the gift, they want you to open it in front of them. So we would smell the gift and, you know, make it a big thing. This smells so good. And it always did. It always did smell so good. And I was always so excited to go home and use the bath bomb. Um, so yeah, that was really fun. It was just a nice way to relax. You know, it lets them know that you're thinking of them and you're appreciating how much energy they're putting into teaching your child. Um, you also can't go wrong with some sprays or lotions. I really enjoyed the little tiny um, size of them. I would keep those at school too. So I would just keep them in my drawer. Anytime I forgot my lotion, I would just put them on or if I felt like I needed a quick refresh of spray. And it also would work really well with the kids because sometimes they need lotion too or sometimes they just wanna be like acknowledged and felt special. And so something I would do with them was like, give them some lotion if they really wanted some. Um, or even if I just felt like, you know, like we needed something to connect with. Um, giving your students some lotion is just like a really fun, easy way to bond over something, just something to talk about with your student that's not school related. Um, yeah, so sprays, lotions, bath bombs, all good there. Okay, number six is something that will take a little bit longer so if you do want to get this for your teacher you might want to get on that right now etsy has these really beautiful um wrapped what are these called i don't want to say the name brand like beverage containers <laughs> you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> but they're wrapped and this one is beyond gorgeous i appreciate this so much this was actually from a mom where i taught her daughter my very first year and then my third year i taught her son so by that time she had already known me and we had a really good relationship so that's where this gift came from and if you have a teacher that you really love and want to give something really nice to um her mom actually did this for me and yeah, our um, mascot was the cadets. So our colors were blue and gray, and my name is Miss Fleming, or my last name is Fleming. So I went by Mrs. Fleming, and I went with flamingos for my theme since it sort of sounds the same, so silly, but it's something the kids really loved, and anytime they saw flamingos, they thought of me. So she put a flamingo on there, and it says Miss Fleming. And I really just love this so, so much. I'm serious, it broke my heart when I got this. I felt like I was going to explode and melt and this is just the most beautiful gift and it's so meaningful and it touched my heart. They make really, really cute ones on Etsy too that are really like teacher specific so you can get their names on there. Um, you can get them to look like a pencil or a piece of paper or something cute like that. That, that would be so adorable. Um, but along with your cup, you might want to get them some reusable straws. Teachers love to drink water or tea out of these things, so you're going to want a little reusable straw for them to drink out of. And usually schools will have ice machines, so you don't need to worry about anything that way, but the ice machines will keep our drinks cold all day, so these beverage containers are really, really good and really fun to receive, and it's really nice to have one that's really personal to you. So it was always cool to show people my cup. <laughs> 
Okay, this next one is a little bit silly, um, but like I had said, my theme was flamingos. So anything flamingo, they loved and saw and thought of me immediately and wanted to get it. So something I have like a little collection of is little flamingo, <laughs> little flamingo keychains. So this one is actually getting quite worn down, so I might need to um, switch it out for my other one. It's always so, so special. I loved to get these because of course, they just think of you when they see things like that. And it's really nice. Um, so yeah, I just, you see it all the time. You think of your student, it's so special to receive. Okay, so similar to keychains um, are badge holders, but there are little personal personalized badge holders that you can order. This one is from my friend, Small Shop. She makes a lot of these customized badge ID holders. Um, she herself wants to go into the medical field, and so she got the idea just from that but teachers can use them as well so again mine has a little flamingo on it um, but you can really do anything she does anything crazy like gems and uh, resin I believe and anything like that my husband has a spurs one a spurs logo um, and yeah they come out really cute she's really good and fast with shipping so I would recommend her store of course but there's also many that you can find online um, but again, this is another gift that you would have to hop on top of and order as fast as you can in order to get it before Christmas time. Okay, next is gift cards. And I have three places that you can get gift cards from. Just as an idea, if you have somewhere else that you know that your teacher really enjoys, then of course do that. But number one would be Barnes & Noble because we always need books for our classroom. Um, so that is just always gonna be a really good option. So Barnes and Noble for sure. Second is Target. I have so many things in my classroom that I have purchased from Target and I will never stop purchasing things from Target for my classroom, but it can also just be fun to go and shop around for yourself. So your teacher might enjoy Target. There are Instagram pages dedicated to teachers who shop at Target for their classrooms and also just for their house and stuff like that. Um, Target's really cool. And then if you don't have Barnes & Noble or Target um, and you wanna do something really, really cool, there is a website called Teachers Pay Teachers and that is the best place. That is the coolest online resource for teachers. There are so many cool things like clip art, center ideas, worksheets, really cool digital files, just endless things that teacher, teachers can use. And it is made by teachers themselves. So that's why it's called Teachers Pay Teachers. I can show you how to get a voucher from there. It is a little bit complicated, so I will insert that right now. So you're gonna wanna go to teacherspaytteachers.com and then at the top right, there is a tab for gift cards. So when you click it there, it will take you to the gift card site and it tells you what to do. You can click whatever amount you're comfortable with. Um, I just put the 25 it was set on. And then you type out who it's from and your teacher's email. This is a really good virtual option, um, but if you're in person, I will show you another option. So just typed in whatever email and then you can type a little message down there. Um, something just to say like, thank you, Merry Christmas, like that, and then you can just add it to cart that way. If you're face-to-face -face learning, then you will just click right here, print at home, and then type your message, add to cart, and then you'll print it in your home if you have a printer. That would be a really good virtual gift too if you're doing a virtual learning this year and you're not in person, which I know many parents are. So virtually you can um, email the voucher to them and that would be a perfect solution for you if you do want to still get your teacher something as a thank you. Okay, and then last but not least, this one I think is the most special and the best um, and it's free. So it's just, I'm going to cry and <laughs> hand drawn stuff, you know, like this is stuff that you can keep for years and I love <laughs> this student that gave this to me. I'll block out her name. Um, it says, Happy Merry Christmas, Miss Fleming. And she drew flamingos and she drew us and a flower and it's just something that I'm going to keep forever and treasure it. And I actually keep, not all, but pretty much most of the drawings that I get and the cards that I get for Christmas and my birthday and sometimes just kids just love you and want to do it anyways so I keep most of them. I have this one and I have an even bigger box also full all the way to the top um, so I need another one and this is only from three years of teaching so I don't know what I'm gonna do when it starts to increase and it's like <laughs> decades of teaching but 
I will never not keep these. These are awesome. They are so fun to go back and look through. I will never forget one time, um, one of my students from the previous year was having a little bit of a hard time. Um, my school was attached to a daycare and I saw her and she was having a little bit of a hard time. So I brought her into my room and we just looked at some of the old drawings she had drawn for me and she immediately calmed down. It was something to distract her from. It was something that she herself had done. And yeah, it was a nice bonding experience to have. So hand drawn, hand written, anything. You can do a popsicle stick craft. You can do pasta, something simple. It does not have to be anything at all. Your teacher's gonna love it. It's the thought that counts, it really is. Um, you know, there's so much love and energy put towards your students, they become loves of our own. So anything that they do for them, anything you guys um, do to show them that you appreciate them, that you're thinking of them will mean so much. That was the 10 gift ideas that I have that are not mugs. <laughs> so hopefully you can find something on here that is doable for you and that will work for your child and your teacher. I hope that you guys have a very Merry Christmas and I will see you in my next video. Bye!